And uh, if you see anything other than, than Sobbles here, I don't, I don't know what to tell you. These, these are all very clearly Sobbles. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Let's Not, and uh, welcome back to Pokemon Sword and Shield. Alrighty guys, so we are back at Pokemon Sword and Shield, and uh, you know, I had I had this idea a while back when I made the Pokemon Sword and Shield Shiny Only Challenge yada yada video, but uh, I wanted to see if I could win a ranked battle with only an Octillery, right? So, uh, you know what? Let's let's try it. Let's let's do. It. I mean, we uh, a few of you mentioned you really liked the Pokemon Unite video where I used the Pokemon Unite team in Sword and Shield. So uh, this time I thought, you know what, man? Let's just try and win with an Octopus. All right, switching over to the game. All right, so here we have our lovely shiny Octillery here that we did catch when we were making the uh, shiny only series, uh, and he's very interested. And in, I think this little Diglet in front of me. But uh, that's okay. That's okay. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look at this Octillery. And for those of you who are really confused and you're thinking, there's no way you could win a, a ranked match with only an Octillery. Let me explain kind of how Octillery works and how, it, how it's actually possible, theoretically possible for, for me to do that. All right. So let's jump in and take a look at our Octillery. So Octillery has what is one of the most broken Pokemon abilities ever made uh, Moody, right? So we see here Moody raises one stat sharply and lowers one stat every turn, right? So basically the way that this works is that every turn you'll have something like defense go up by two um, and then you'll also have something like speed go down by one and that's random. It's completely random and you kind of just continue to stack these buffs over time, right? But the idea is uh, there's only very few Pokemon that could have this ability because it, it has such a potential to be broken. In fact, the best example of a Pokemon that can abuse this ability is something like Glalie. Right, so this big dude with the head, yeah, yeah, he's a weird Pokemon, right? All the Pokemon that have Moody are weird, like like Bibarel, and regardless, I made a whole video about Pokemon with this ability and uh, just other abilities that you can find here if you're really curious. But anyway, so Moody's super broken ability because people have found out that well, if you take this ability and you give a Pokemon Protect and Substitute and basically just stall out. You can just make your Pokemon so incredibly strong that nothing will be able to kill it, right? And specifically, once you get to a point when your opponent can no longer break your substitute, you should be able to win. That combined with the healing you get from leftovers, theoretically, you should survive long enough to be able to win the fight. Now, Octillery is definitely not the best user of it. Um, the best user of it is definitely going to be... Um, uh, Glalie, because Glalie has, what, is it Flash Freeze or something like that? It's basically an, uh, an Ice-type move that hits Water-type Pokemon super effectively, which makes him an even better user of this. But no, with Octillery, we're kind of limited to using Surf and Flamethrower. Uh, there are a couple other moves you could use instead of Flamethrower, but uh, that's where we're at. So we're going to give it a shot. We we have completely EV trained this thing. Actually, let me jump back in here so I can show you its EVs as, as a part of that other video. So he was already ready, man. He, was, he, he, wanted to, he wanted to shine, and he does have a very specific EV spread specifically for this build, right? HP special attack with a, with a tiny bit of speed that said the tiny bit of speed doesn't actually matter because if I if I go into my box here and I and I take a look at Octillery you'll see that because he's not level 100 I can't hyper train him yet right so his speed and defense are actually only decent uh, because a Pokemon coming out of a out of a max raid den you know can only have a few best EVs right four best EVs or IVs apologies so regardless we're gonna try it anyway we're gonna we're gonna try this incomplete Octillery in, in his current state with like random amounts of PP ups on his on his protect and substitute whatever I could muster from back when I made that video and uh, we're gonna see if that's good enough to win a single ranked uh, single match single ranked single solo single ranked single you guys get the idea. All right, so uh, without further ado, let's try it. And honestly, I've never actually loaded into ranked battles with a single Pokemon. So uh, if it doesn't let me, I'll throw some other fodder on the team, just a bunch of like level ones or something. Because again, the whole point of this challenge is to win only with Octillery. Uh, so here goes. We're going to jump into Versus. We're going to Battle Stadium and we're going to... We're probably going to lose. But uh, again, if, if somebody doesn't... Here's the thing, man. If somebody doesn't know about Octillery, Glalie, and I guess Bibarel is the other one, then this strategy can actually work super well if people don't know how to play around it. It's actually super toxic. Um, but if they do know how it works, you're basically, and especially if they have a move that can wipe your stats, you're basically done for. All right, so I'm going to try and go into a ranked battle, and I'm going to see if it'll let me take a single Pokemon in. We'll go into a single battle. <laughs> sure. Sure, they can see my, my Octillery. 
Uh, and again, if it doesn't let me, then uh, I'll edit this all out. We'll come right back and I'll put some, some fodder on the team. So one sec, let's find out. Okay, so it doesn't have enough Pokemon. Uh, let me back out and grab some like really crappy Pokemon to toss on the team with Octillery and uh, we will be right back. All right, we are back now with our army of Sobbles. So I brought a bunch of Sobbles along on the team uh just uh just to just to make sure that whenever my opponent comes up against me uh the reason i picked a bunch of sobbles is because i wanted a bunch of water types like i didn't want to try and fuse my opponent into thinking i was doing some like super crazy level one endeavor quick attack strategy so i wanted to pick a whole bunch of, of level one pokemon uh specifically pokemon that uh are all the same type as octillery i didn't want to trick my opponent into saying oh man if he's got all these other types maybe i shouldn't just bring in all electric pokemon right so so yeah that's that's why i went with a bunch of sobbles right and uh, if you see anything other than, than Sobbles here, I don't, I don't know what to tell you. These these are all very clearly Sobbles. Anyway, here we go. We're going to do this. Let's go. It's like I... It's like I should know these things, right? It's like I'm a YouTuber who plays a bunch of Pokemon. And, like, I should I should know that I can't troll to this level because of, of basic trolling things. <sighs> we'll be right back. Alrighty, guys. The Sobble army is no more. So now I got all these other water types. They're still all just level one water types. Uh, Dew Biter might be a bug. If, if somebody switches out because I put a bug on here, then you know what? That's on them. All right. But anyway, we got our, we got our team of, of garbage. So again, Octillery only challenge. Let's see if we can win one battle uh, in single with only Octillery. Let's see if, uh, let's see if we can effectively uh, confuse an opponent into winning, right? And you know what? This is, this is probably going to be pretty difficult. Uh, just because I feel like there are so many incredibly strong Pokemon that are just going to be able to break Octillery's sub anyway, even when he has, like, plus six defense or, or plus six special defense. So this is definitely going to be a tricky fight with things like Zacians and such in the meta. But, uh, you know what? You know what? We're, we're, we're going to do it anyway. You know what I just thought about? The, the, probably the worst thing that we can possibly come up against is going to be, like, a Regieleki. That will probably just dominate us. Like, I don't think we have, like, we'll never be able to sub our, our way out of that damage. And it's just so fast that even at plus six speed, we can't outspeed it. So if they ever have a Regieleki, we're just done for. Okay, well, no Regieleki. That's a good sign. Uh, In fact, in fact, there's not a whole lot of things here that are super scary to Octillery. I'm, I'm sure at this point my opponent's very confused. Uh, but there's not a lot of things here that are super scary to Octillery. I guess uh, the, the scariest thing is if, like, the Gengar's got, like, destiny bond or something or if the lapras for that matter has perish song then we just lose because we're, we're we're relying on a single pokemon right and both of those moves break this strategy but regardless let's go in the sable army what's left of it here goes uh i i imagine my opponent's super duper confused right now i can't read their names that kind of sucks I, I i'd like to i'd like to be able to read their name but it's it's okay it's okay but anyway man let's let's see what they let's see what they do let's see what they do here because they have to kill artillery quickly and ironically enough, based on what they brought to the table, they don't have like a lot of things that can do that, right? Gengar's kind of an iffy choice, but it's, it's better one of the better choices. Golurk's obviously weak to Octillery. Glaceon doesn't do a whole lot to Octillery unless it's got Freeze Dry, I think it's the name of the move. I think it's a Flash Freeze early. It's definitely Freeze Dry. Uh, Lapras doesn't do a whole lot, unless it, again, unless it's got the Parish Song. Sand Slash doesn't do a whole lot, so... Again, it, unless it's got Parish Song or Destiny Bond, we actually should be pretty good on this one. But both of those are, are super scary, and both of those are super possible. So let's see what happens, man. What, what are the odds that we win the first match, right? It's going to be a real short video if we do. All right, man, here goes. But again, if he doesn't have those things, we're okay. For a second there, I thought we did double battles. And I was actually super scared. Yeah, watch. If he starts with a Destiny Bond, we're, we're done for. But I don't know. I don't know what he's gonna lead with. So I'm actually gonna lead with a substitute instead of the protect. I want to. I want to see what he leads with. You know, I, I maybe I should have led with the with the um, protect just just to avoid that damage. But that should be okay. That should be okay because we're taking no damage in, uh, next turn, and then we can just continue to substitute again and let the moody boost start. So it can kill us in three hits with Shadow Ball, which is actually fine. Okay. So we got the speed up. That's that's probably a, a really good start for us, actually. And special defense down is not a good start for us. So we're going to move straight into the protect because uh, we're, we're definitely not going to be able to tank. So we again, the whole point is, is you got to stall out a little bit until you get just so tanky that he can't kill you, right? Or until we can, you know, counter kill him back. Okay, so Dark Pulse is going to do even less damage. So I'm not sure why he went with the Dark Pulse there. 
again, here's the thing. I got to see what our moody boosts end up giving us. Okay, so our speed doubled up again. So we, we're definitely out speeding uh, the Gengar now. So, like, this is kind of an awkward position because we could protect and go for the double protect, which is not great. Like, the odds of it failing are pretty high. Um, or we can just get some some damage in. So I'm actually just going to go for go for a Surf here because we are faster than Gengar now at plus four speed, right? Which is, which is good, but uh, it's going to be able to counter hit us pretty well. Like, if it actually goes for, for a Shadow Ball here, it can kill us. Okay, so it is sashed. Actually, no, we have the substitute up. Who am I, who am I kidding? We're totally fine. So let's see what happens. Surf was disabled. That's okay. So Dark Pulse is going to be enough to take out the substitute. Okay, I did expect that. I did expect that. So what I'm actually going to do here is I'm going to go for the Protect first, and then I'm going to go into the Substitute. All right, so we got an attack up. Doesn't help us literally at all. And another special defense down. Okay. So jumping into the protect here, and then we'll go into another substitute. That's like, it's, that's the thing with Moody. It's so random. Some games you can get all the right stats to go up. And some games you just get in this really nasty spot where none of the right stats go up. All right, so there's another round. Get another bit of leftover healing, which is, is going to be clutch here. Unfortunately, none of my special defense is going up. So uh, that doesn't help me a lot there. Uh, Moody is another attack up. Oh no, and a sp another special defense down. So, uh, well, actually, let's take a look at what where we're at. Like, four attack, four speed. Uh, you know, if we actually had any moves whatsoever that were uh, physical attack based, that'd be great. But uh, we don't, so uh, it's not. All right, so we're going into a substitute here. It's really the only choice. And again, this thing is just going to be able to one-shot our substitute, but we have to hope we start getting boosts in the right place. Like, eventually... It'll get to a point where almost all of your stats are maxed. Um, but uh, we're definitely not there yet. And actually, a Shadow Ball will 100% take us down. Unless we start getting some special defense boosts. So. Well, it'll never hit us, though. Because I guess at least we're faster than it, right? But yeah, physical attack boosts really are not what I need to see right now. It's not, it's not what I'm looking for. Another speed up. And a defense down. This is horrible. This is so horrible. Because the point is to get tankier, right? Uh, all right, going straight into the Protect. This is this is such a this is such a bad start, man. All the wrong stats are getting boosted. I could I should have given it a physical attacking move. Dream Eater. Okay, so it predicted I guess it predicted the protect, which makes sense. Wasn't super hard to predict there. So here's the thing. I can substitute again. Or I can go straight into the surf. So now I've got a special attack up, which means at least I'm gonna start doing some damage, right? Because now I'm two special attack up and I think six speed up. So I actually think I go for the kill here. I go for the kill here and uh, see what happens. We're going to go with the Surf again. I know it's just going to lock down my Surf with curse Body, but we're still going to go with Surf anyway. And then see what comes out next. If he, if he led with Gengar, hopefully that, that means that Gengar is his best answer, right? Because if there is something like a Lapras back there, I am in trouble. I'm definitely in trouble. So we do get another turn of Leftover Healing. We do get another Moody Boost. And Special Defense. Okay, that's good. So our Special Defense isn't, isn't sh just garbage anymore so i think we're back at neutral maybe actually we're not even i don't think we're even at neutral special defense we'll check the stats uh whenever he sends in his next pokemon which is a sand slash also quite fast uh okay and physical defense which i have minus three of right now and i'm still minus two so i'm still super fast but uh i'm not sure if his gengar was actually sashed it might have been sashed so i could probably one shot this thing here but I'd rather see what it's going to do to me. So I'm actually going to go for a Protect here. Because I, I can still Substitute as well. And plus, like, I really want more Physical Defense. <laughs> but so far, man, the Octopus is doing pretty good, dude. He's doing pretty good. Okay, Earthquake. So Earthquake probably will kill me. I definitely outspeed the Sand Slash. But the issue is not outspeeding the Sand Slash. The issue is making sure I don't hit, like, a Focus Sash and then die, right? That's That's the main issue here. But respect for this guy for not running any, like, major legendaries in his team. Uh, what, what just boosted there? I wasn't paying attention. Hold up. This is now... Okay, so my special defense is back. And I am paper thin on defense, man. I'm paper thin on defense. And I'm only double special attack. You know, I think I'm going to have to take the risk. Because, like, substituting, I could, I could, I could stall this out longer. But that's going to make this a really boring video. So I'm going to go with the risk. And if he's got the sash, and, and I wasn't paying enough attention on the sand slash, or if it somehow survives this, I accept that loss for game one. Okay. We're good. 
Whew, dude, I was a little worried there. I was a little worried there. Like, he, I guess he could have also been running like a focus band or something too. Like, I was, I was a little, I was a little worried there. But so far, man, we've got two down. Uh, hopefully, whatever comes out is not a physical, uh, physical attacker because my defense is is just dog. It, it's so bad. Now that sucks really bad because now my special attack is down on my dude. Okay, the incredible thing though is so far this match is actually going pretty well, and we've literally had like the worst possible moody like. This is a special, like, I'm just going to give you guys an idea here. This is a special attacker. I've got six attack and six speed. If this was a physical attacker, this game would have been over already, right? But, like, Golurk is another physical attacker. So, again, I am forced to play this slow. I'm forced to play this slow because, unlike Sandslash, yes, I can still hit Golurk super effectively. But I'm super worried about Golurk, right? I'm super worried about Golurk. Nightshade, okay. You know what? Nightshade will still break one of my subs no matter what. So actually, it's not a bad play. Because I'm never going to have a sub that can survive a Nightshade. But I am going to still use the sub, throw away some health, because I can outspeed the Golurk as long as he doesn't uh, have, what is it? The the Shadow Punch? Hey, he gave up! He quit! Alright, GG's! We did it! We won our very first game with Octillery. That was insane. The dude's the dude straight up forfeited. He's like, he's like... I'm not sitting through this anymore. And honestly, man, I get it. I get it. Like, Octillery, Glalie, Moody. Just Moody as a general ability is so incredibly toxic. So, uh, let's actually, let's take a look at his team. Let's take a look at his team. So, yeah, so the Gengar was Sashed. Okay. I did, I, if I was paying more attention, I would have known that. And then I could have just straight up killed the Sand Slash. No special defense at all. He had Destiny Bond. Guys. 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 He had Destiny Bond on his on his Gengar. This man could have literally beaten me if he had any idea how his Pokemon worked. And he's running Dream Eater without a way to sleep me. What? <laughs> okay, uh, you know what? Uh, I can't check. I was gonna check. Uh, I was gonna check if his Lapras uh, also had Perish Song. I uh, okay. You know what? You know what? I'm still going to take it as a win. It's still a ranked battle, and I'm still playing with one Pokemon, but uh, there you guys have it. So, if, if as to the question of can you win a solo ranked battle with Octillery, uh, the answer is yes, man. Uh, uh, what? What is this even? Yellow Octopus, best Octopus. He's got like a green yellow. It's it's, it's not a great color, I'll admit, dude. Shiny Octillery is not a gr is not a great color. But there you guys have it. 100%. You can still win with this Pokemon. The stalling technique totally viable. But like again, I'm so confused, man. Because if he had just switched out, or if he just used Destiny Bond, my entire game would have been ruined. Like he 100% would have won. Uh, so yeah, uh, before you go into a, I guess just pro tip, before you go into a match with a Pokemon, make sure you know how all four of its moves work, because, uh, turns out that can matter. <laughs> turns out that can matter a lot. <laughs> anyway, guys, there you have it. Again, this is going to be a short little kind of trolley video of me taking random things into, uh, Pokemon Sword and Shield ranked battles. Again, you guys kind of liked the Pokemon Unite one. Let me know if you guys have any other ideas. If there's like a specific team or, or weird strategy that you guys want me to take into ranked battles and see if I can win. Uh, let me know. I'd be, I'd be, I'd love to try it out. So, but that'll be it guys. If you guys want to see more Pokemon Sword and Shield content, as always hit that subscribe button and uh, I will see you guys next time.